Hi, Chero. What are you looking at? Oh, just my class picture when I was in grade 4. Can you find me in this picture, Ate? Mm, let's see. Oh, you're here. Can you still remember your teacher's name? Name? Yes, it's Mrs. Teresita Magaro. You have a good memory, huh? Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll cover this picture and tell me how many you were in your class. Okay. So, how many you were in your class? Let me see. There were 15 boys and 18 girls, so there were 33 students in our class. Okay, let me check. One, two, three, four, five. That's right! Nice job! It wasn't really hard because I was the president of our class. I see, but speaking of number 33, did you know that it is also written in the Bible? Really, Ate? Yes, it is written in Genesis 46.15. This be the sons of Leah, which she bare unto Jacob in Padanaram, with his daughter Dina. All the souls of his sons and his daughters were thirty and three. We can also read it in the book of 1 Kings 2.11. And the days that David reigned over Israel were forty years. Seven years reigned he in Hebron, and thirty and three years reigned he in Jerusalem. Is he the same David who defeated Goliath? Yes, because he trusted the Lord and not himself, as it is written in 1 Samuel 17, 45-46. Then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword, and with a spear, and with a shield. But I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. This day will the Lord deliver thee into mine hand, and I will smite thee, and take thine head from thee, and I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air, and to the wild beast of the earth, and all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. Ah, I think I will read the story of David again later. That's good, Jero. So kids, that is our number for the day. The number 33. Until next time, bye!